So around two weeks ago, I made a video talking about this one guy. Actually, no, he's not just this one guy. Let's address this iconic staple in the way that he deserves. The platform of Roblox harbors one of the biggest legends we have seen this year. His name is Reginald. Here he is. Guys, meet Reginald. Everyone say hi to Reginald. He created a badge walk game on Roblox, a type of game I didn't know existed prior to all of this, as well as the community that thoroughly enjoys them, apparently called the Roblox Badge Collectors or Badge Hunters. 10,495 badge walk, description I spent 1 million Robux on this. You know what? Even now, two weeks later, part of me still wishes that this was all just one big joke or a bad dream. Honestly, I'm not fussy. I will take either of those options. Hey, perhaps you found yourself asking, but how does one possibly spend spend 1 million robux on just one game? Well the answer to that question is what caused me to make this very video. The game originally started out with Reginald uploading exactly 10,000 badges to it, not one below and not one under, just bang on that number. Surprisingly some people out there aren't aware that Roblox forces you to pay a fixed price for each and every single badge that you want to create and that price has always been 100 robux. Look, don't start asking Asking questions now man, only the great Roblox Lord above knows why the 100 Robux badge price exists. But my point is, 10,000 badges all purchased for 100 Robux each works out to be 1 million Robux. Take it or leave it my friends. And this guy made sure to not leave it there. When I made my video about it, the game had around 10,200 badges and obviously it now has almost 10,500. So, like I mentioned back then, I am almost certain that he's pouring all profits from the game passes straight back into buying even more badges badges. Reginald truly is insane, but in a good way. I do want to discuss something in just a moment, but first, please make sure to leave a like on this video if you wish you also had 1 million Robux. And of course, make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. We are growing higher every single day. Can't stop, won't stop. A player badge can be obtained by a player fulfilling a certain requirement in a Roblox game. Badges serve a similar purpose to achievements in games outside of Roblox. I mean, I highly doubt anyone didn't know what a badge on Roblox was, but I thought I'd explain a little bit just in case that was the case. You can never be too sure, you know? You see this, many users creating badge walks where all the player has to do is walk down a line of badge givers usually and badges will be awarded. In the whole nine years I have been on Roblox, not once have I ever heard of badge walks and I had no idea that so many people praised their existence. And evidently I have no personal interest in collecting badges from badge walk games but apparently so many other people do and it's kind of fascinating. There are even entire groups dedicated to hunting for these badges. My guys this is crazy. If anyone watching is in one of these groups or if you just enjoy hunting for Roblox badges please let me know your thought process and enjoyment behind that because I am way too invested in this to now just carry on living without discovering the answer. Ah, uh, this video has been way too positive so far. All the super happy vibes everything is emitting is making me uncomfortable and there is just no negativity in sight. Like, uh, I'm not trying to starve you guys. So let me open up the criticism tab. That is much more like it. We thrive on the drama. How refreshing. Player badges are criticised due to its cost 100 Robux for creating one. This was my entire pre-planned premise of this video believe it or not, I kind of just got sidetracked by the iconic being that is Reginald. To create a Roblox badge in your game, like to even have it exist, you need to pay 100 Robux first before anything else can happen. It has always been like that and it continues to be like that today and possibly forever. But it confuses me so much because simply creating it doesn't do anything, it just does a grand total of 0% of the work. The actual effort poured into making a badge functional and actually serve a purpose, that all comes from you. By paying to create a badge in your Roblox game, you're actually just paying for it to exist and nothing more. And yeah, I see you typing that comment like, oh my god, 
Chloe Games, why are you complaining about something so small? 100 Robux is nothing, peasant. But that's not the point, I'm not complaining, let's clear that up right away. I just... Let's class this as criticism and I feel like it can just about pass as constructive as well. Because man, my advice on what needs changing with this is just to remove the price on badges or at the very least lower it. In hindsight, the issue I have with having to pay 100 Robux every single time you want to create a badge means absolutely nothing and there is certainly bigger and more pressing issues throughout the entire platform. I just remembered the video I made about Reginald spending 1 million Robux books creating some badges and it got me thinking about why that has ever existed. The fact that you have to pay to have one badge exist. Yes, that is correct. Worry not, my dear friends. You are currently in the right place. Welcome back to another episode of Roblox YouTuber complains about something on Roblox that changes absolutely nothing whatsoever. In all seriousness though, it would be very interesting to see how other people feel about the Roblox badge price and you know, also would be pretty nice to have the confirmation that it's not just me that feels this way and that I'm not completely well and truly going insane. Although for just one sliver of that confirmation I did find a developer forum post from 2019 also talking about this. Allow 10 free badges for each game. This lovely individual has spread his wisdom. I genuinely think that this would be a very nice compromise. Like don't make badges completely free, don't make them completely paid, but allow 10 free badges per game or even five if you want to remain realistic and after all of those are added they go back to having a price. Currently you need to pay a fee of 100 Robux for creating a badge on Roblox which means that for new groups or people with little to no funds it is almost impossible to add badges to their games. Yeah this is another point I wanted to cover. 100 Robux isn't just nothing to everyone on the website and the only people that make games aren't just the big developers on the front page. A whole lot of people start from nothing and just try to build their games up with what they currently have and more often than not, those people don't have hundreds or thousands of Robux to waste on badges. With 10 free badges for each game, it would be enough to launch your game with some rewarding badges, then you can earn the Robux and choose for 100 Robux each if you want to add more badges to the game. Even though this post was from over a year ago, I still do hope that it's something Robux could maybe consider one day because I really agree with what he said as a whole. Badges don't need to be free, badges don't need to be paid but a nice compromise perhaps? You guys know when you go to upload a thumbnail to your game on Roblox? Yeah that used to cost Robux as well. I'm pretty sure it started at 20 Robux and then lowered to 10 Robux before completely being made free to upload thumbnails sometime in 2018. So my hopes are that if they can listen to people about thumbnails costing 20 Robux being ultimately pointless and somewhat annoying, the same can maybe eventually be done with the 100 Robux badge price. But anyway, when you guys think of Robux Roblox badges costing 100 Robux to make every single time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.